In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to add a lightsaber effect in DaVinci Resolve. For this method, you will need a NeoPixel lightsaber or a baselet RGB at the very least. You can buy these from several different websites, but I would try checking out my TikTok mutual site, Level Up Sabers. His lightsabers are guaranteed better than a stick. The benefit of doing the effect this way over traditional methods is you will be doing very little, if not any, rotoscoping. This saves you a ton of time, especially when the talent isn't swinging the saber. So let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Once you've brought your footage into DaVinci, head over to the Fusion tab. First, add a color correction node, connect your footage, and set the saturation all the way down to zero. Change the menu from color to levels and adjust the ends to isolate the blade. Next, add a background node and connect the color correction to the mask input. Change the color to white and in the settings tab, change the alpha channel of the background node from alpha to luminance. Soften the edges a little by adding a blur node so the edges of the blade aren't too harsh. Finish its makeshift and lumen map by merging it with a black background node. Now that you have the core of the lightsaber blade, it's time to add the glow. Add a glow node and set the filter to Gaussian. Then duplicate this node three times by copying and pasting the first glow node. You're going to adjust the glow size, glow, and blend of each glow node to dial in the look of your saber blade. These settings will depend on your personal preference, but for this shot, for all the glow nodes, I set the blend under 0.2 and the glow around or under 0.6. I set the glow size of the first glow node to around 2, and for the remaining nodes, I started with a value of 10 and sequentially doubled that value down the node tree. Now to change the color of the blade, add a color correction node and use the color wheel to change the master color to match the NeoPixel. You could stop right here, but you'll want to add a flicker to the blade to help sell the effect. To do this, add a shake modifier to the gain of the second color correction node. In the modifiers tab, lower the smoothness all the way down and set the minimum to 1.8 and the maximum to 2.5. Next, merge everything with the original footage and set the apply mode to screen. All the stuff for you to do is add a color grade to tie everything together and you're done. Now as quick and effective as I found this method, there are some drawbacks. The lightsaber must be the brightest thing in the shot. If there's a visible light source or another lightsaber in the shot, you're gonna have to mask those out to isolate them. And for the second lightsaber, the steps will be exactly the same. Other than that, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.